Ma'am, would you mind coming to talk to us for a second? We're not dangerous. This officer, I don't know what he tells you, but we're not dangerous. Come talk to us for a second. You're making sure they get out to the car nice and safe so they don't have to come and talk to us? Is that the deal? I'm making sure they get out to the car nice and safe. Yeah, that's awful nice of you. What if you were to bring them over here nice and safe and let us talk to them a little bit? What if you encourage them to come talk to us about eternal life and such? They, they probably are just like me and they don't want to talk to us. Why do you think that is? Because I'm a jerk. You're a Do you know anything about me? I know you're, I know you're, to tell people not to kill their children. Than I've ever In what out. way have we been self-righteous, sir? Coming out here and shaming people. And shaming people. Are you shaming me right now? How is it self-righteous to tell yeah. people that it's wrong to kill their children? It's not. That's. Oh, he, he's, he's going to jump to moral relativism. You can't use any examples Officer, other than abortion. if I were drowning my toddler, would it be self-righteous for you to tell me not to? We're not allowed to use that example, Kate, because it's not abortion. Sir, you are a disgrace to your oath as an officer of the law. I'm serious. You're sort of intellectually dishonest and cowardly as well for abandoning the debate. I went at it with him for 45 minutes a day. He was just a total moral relativist and came to like applying what he's doing here consistently across the board. Oh, you're not allowed to, to talk about that. That was a hundred years ago. Thank God he's not self-righteous. Yeah, right. Only we are. He's not because he, you know. Do you understand what's ironic about the phrase, I'm not self-righteous, but you are? Isn't that strange? Kind of like self-refuting? Hands are covered in blood, Officer Robertson. You're going to stand guilty before God one day. That would be some good stuff. How much blood is enough, Debbie? Now you hire Norman PD to... Uh, Help protect you from who? The dangerous voices of abolitionists? When will you cease murdering babies? When is enough? I mean, at some point, I don't even know what to say anymore. How is it that you love death so much? How is it that you love death so much, Debbie? Turn from your sin. Turn to Jesus Christ and be saved. Ma'am, why do you come to this place of death? What is your purpose here? This is a place that murders babies. Why would you come here to work? Why would you come here to do any commerce at all? Turn away from this place of death. Call them inside to repentance and to turn to Jesus Christ. Your business transaction here is nothing compared to the blood that will be spilled here today. Supervisor. One four one one four double one double two. One four eleven fourteen eleven twenty two. The number on that car. Fourteen eleven twenty two. Your oath of office not mean much to you, sir? You're a lot more aggressive today. It's nice to see you woke up with some spunk. Yeah. The jokes won't last, sir. There will come a day when you'll come under judgment, sir.
hilarious. Well played though, you're a man's man.